Let's create a background color on our gauge chart where we cover the entire chart area in React Chart.js. So let's start to look how we can create a background color on this one. So to do this, we need to create a plugin here, plugin object. So we're going to say plugins, curly braces, brackets. And the reason why brackets, it's an array because you could have more than one plugin. And let's call this our gauge background. I'm going to grab that, copy this, and that will be our constant. So I'm going to say here, constant gauge background equals and then here we're going to create this specific object. So what will be in here? The ID name. And I'm going to put it like gauge background. And then we can select here before or after the drawing. So what we want to do is we want to draw behind this gauge chart. So that means before we draw the chart, we will first draw the background. So we say before data sets draw. And then we're going to grab here the objects, chart, arcs, and plugin options and then in here what we need to do is is an object destruction so i'm going to say a chart equals or constant equals chart i have a video for that so watch that which is a chart js yes, object destructuring video so i'm going to say a ctx and i'm going to say here the chart area because i want to draw basically within the chart area of this canvas and if you're wondering how big is that well you can see here this area basically excluding the legend area. So to do that, enter here and I'm going to say ctx.save to save all variables above. And if you want to reset it, it will reset everything accordingly. But now what we have to do is we have to create a rectangle that grabs the exact size of this. And we have here this chart area. Maybe we can just break this down. And I have a video if you don't know chart area. I have a video on the sending chart area for chart.js. Watch that video. So what I'm going to grab here is the top, the bottom, the left, right, and then you have the width and height. So we won't be using them all, but what we will do is first of all, we're going to define the color. So CTX at fill style to define the color here. And in this case, fill style will be, let's give this a gray color. Next, what I want to do is I want to say ctx dot, and I'm going to say here the fill rectangle to draw the rectangle. For this, I need the x starting point, and I have the y, and then I need the width, or how many pixels in width, and how many pixels in height. Since we already have most of these already, the top here is basically the y value on the very top. We're going to begin at the very left, so that's the x, and then we have here the width, which is already here the width of the entire chart area, and then the height here as well. So if I save this, it's semicolon, save, and refresh, there we are. So now it works nicely.